Cybersecurity Awareness Month is coming to an end. However, you should be on top of your personal information all year round. And some companies claim they can help you with that for a fee. Fox 43's Jackie DeTore finds out if you should pay someone to cut down on your digital footprint. Okay, admit it. You've Googled yourself. And no, it doesn't make you a narcissist. We've all done it. In fact, cybersecurity experts like Dr. Bruce Young at Harrisburg University says you should do it every once in a while. You can plug your name into, uh, you know, chat GPT and find out what information comes back. And it's, it's a great way to check to see what misinformation is actually uh, being gathered about you. So for fun, let's play a game. I asked ChatGPT what my favorite sports teams are. And as sad as it is that I root for the Mets and Jets, AI did get it right. Okay, sure, I'm on TV every day, so my life may be a bit more public, but you might be surprised by how much the internet knows about you too. The amount of information that's being sold behind our backs out there is uh, affecting our lives in ways that we uh, can see and feel every day. That's Robert Chevelle. He's the CEO and co-founder of Delete Me. It's a company that helps to remove some of your personal information from the web. He says the sale of your data all starts with data brokers. They are companies like WhitePages.com and Spokio and hundreds of other companies that have taken information that we've given out and not paid any attention to because fine print exists in America all over the place, and they've aggregated it into profiles that have lots and lots of detail about all of us. Then they sell that information, and you end up with more spam calls, text, and emails. But how did the data brokers get that information in the first place? Chevelle says they can get it from social media websites or even a harmless puzzle app you download on your phone. If you use free products, you are the product. That's where Delete Me comes in. You can pay a company like them or OneRep, Optree, and a whole bunch of others to help remove some of your information from these data brokers. The goal is to get your personal information out of the hands of people who could use it against you or your family. But it's not one and done. It's not a complete safeguard, right? There's still a lot of your information out there. These companies often have subscriptions where you have to pay every month or year for their agents to continuously check as new data brokers pop up with your information. So it is sort of a game of whack-a-mole uh, that is never ending. Do you think there is a little bit of a stigma? Because I feel like maybe when you guys first started and years ago when things weren't as big as they were now, that when you would pay someone to do this, it's likely because you wanted them to hide something, mm -hmm. right? You wanted something to not be high up on the Google search, whether it was, you know, a comment you made or, or something like that. But that's not really the case anymore because it is so easy to really access everyone's information. That's right. And uh, most of our uh, customers that come to us say, hey, I'm not trying to hide anything. I just don't want it to be so easy to be found by anybody. Of course, you don't have to pay someone to do this. It's time consuming to find all these data brokers, but you could do that yourself. Delete Me even has a DIY guide on their website on how you can do so. But whether you decide to pay or not, cybersecurity experts think it's a good idea to try to remove yourself from as many of these sites as possible. It, it is uh, what seems like a good starting point, at least, to, to protect your data. If you do decide you want to pay someone, the costs can vary. Fox 43 Finds Out found that these companies can charge you anywhere from 3 to 25 bucks a month for a service like this. So if you want to see if it's worth it, you can try it for a few months and then truly keep tabs to see if you're getting less spam calls, text, and emails. And if you have a consumer story or scam that you want me to look into, Fox 43 wants to find out, let me know. Email Fox 43 Finds Out at fox43.com or join the Fox 43 Finds Out group on Facebook.